Hello students, welcome back to Sigma Physics Online. Let's have a look at the next question. It's a question from magnetic effect of current. And it's a question which is asked to me by my students many a times. That they are not able to figure out how to find out the direction of magnetic field in a question where there is a current involved which is going in a particular direction and to find out the magnetic field direction given in the question. So I thought let me resolve their doubts using this question and I will be showing it to you all in the form of a video. Instead of explaining this on the board, I'll be showing you a video in which you will be able to understand it in a better way and I am sure it will help you to solve all your questions, doubts and queries in that video. So let's see the video. Okay children, let's understand this using this paper cutting. So our question says that a constant current flows in a horizontal wire in the plane of paper from east to west as shown in the figure. So in the figure you are shown something like this. So this is north, this is south, east and west. And let us assume that this is a current carrying conductor and the current is flowing from east to west. So I have drawn this mark over here indicating the direction of current flow. So now as per our question the current is flowing from east to west. So I put the scale in this way which will indicate that the current is flowing from east to west. Okay. So in this way the current is flowing from east to west. Now if the current is flowing from east to west then the magnetic field will be from north to south because always remember electric and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other. So if this is the direction of electric field magnetic field will be perpendicular to this. Now so magnetic field is this north and this south. Okay. Now we need to know in which direction the magnetic field is going that is north to south where is north where is south and we need to know in which direction or how is the magnetic field oriented around this current carrying wire. Now there is a twist to this question that in the question paper you are seeing it like this is west, east, west, north and south. But in the question it's mentioned that the current is flowing in a horizontal wire in the plane of paper. So this is the way it is shown in the diagram. But the question is asked that the wire is lying in the plane of paper. Now this is not your plane in which you write. How do you write? In this way. Right? You put a paper on a table in this position and write. So this becomes your plane of paper. Now in the plane of paper it is saying that the current is flowing from east to west. Okay. So this was our diagram initially for understanding. Now we will express it in the horizontal plane. This was a vertical plane but our plane of writing that the plane in which we write is in this way. So this will be the plane of paper. Now it is saying that the current is flowing in this direction. We are asked to find out the direction in which the magnetic field will be north to south. So we will solve this question using right hand thumb rule. That is if the current is flowing in this way and we hold this wire with our right hand. Okay. So this one is the wire which is carrying current in the horizontal plane and if we hold this wire in such a way that our thumb will point in the direction of current. So according to right hand thumb rule we should be pointing our thumb in the direction in which the current is flowing. Now current is flowing towards west. So I have pointed my thumb towards west direction. Now you see how I have rolled my fingers. Now my fingers are curling in this way right. My fingers are curling in this way. That means if this is a current carrying wire I hold it like this then the magnetic field will be in circle in the form of concentric circles around this current carrying wire. Okay. Current direction is this way. Magnetic field will be perpendicular to this in the form of concentric circle. Now we need to know in which direction it will be north 
to south now you see if i curl my fingers in this way so my fingers are curling like this so magnetic field is going downward and coming upward like this in the form of circle but if you see below the plane of paper if you see below this horizontal plane you see the magnetic field is going downward downward means it's coming like this like this it's coming and this part is north this is south so magnetic field is coming like this from north to south it is coming below the paper from north to south it is coming below the plane of the paper but when they are coming up like this when the circle is being completed it is going from south to north like this south to north above the plane of paper north to south below the plane of paper in that way it is forming a concentric circle so below the plane of paper north to south above the plane of paper south to north so in this way we have to express it now if the current it is not a part of your question but let's understand if the current would be going from west to east in this horizontal plane so how do you have so how would the magnetic field be you would have to hold the wire in this way because this is the direction now of current flow in this way west to east so if you hold it like this that means now your fingers are curling in this way so if they are curling in this way that means the magnetic field lines will be from south to north below the plane of paper and above the plane of paper it will be north to south so now i hope you have understood this so whenever this type of question comes you can solve this easily so now i'm sure after watching this video all your doubts would have been cleared by now so let me summarize it again that the answer to this question should be directly below the wire so this brings us to the end of this question i hope you have understood it please like share and subscribe to sigma physics online until the next question keep practicing